In the olden days, there were really two types of bikes, mountain bikes and road bikes. In hindsight, it was a simpler time. A road bike was a bike with dropped handlebars and skinny tires that were pumped up really hard. And a mountain bike was a bike with a flat bar and wide tires also pumped up really hard. Nowadays, however, cyclists have a lot more choice in the type of bike that they can buy. And a question that we get asked a lot is, should I buy a road bike or should I buy a hybrid bike? So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the differences between both a road bike and a hybrid bike and help demonstrate which is right for you. So beyond stating the obvious that a hybrid bike has a flat bar and a road bike has a drop bar, there are some geometry differences between the two types of bikes that will have a noticeable impact on your ride. In general, a hybrid bike will have a higher stack and a shorter reach. Stack is a vertical measurement from the bottom bracket to the top of the head tube. And this is often an indication of how upright a bike will feel when riding. Meanwhile, reach is the same measurement but horizontal, so from the head tube to in line with where the bottom bracket would be on a vertical axis. And this is often an indication of how dragged out you would feel on a bike. The taller the stack, the more upright your riding position will be, which can take the strain off your back, shoulders and neck. A shorter reach means you won't be pulled forward as much and the flat handlebar allows you to ride in a more comfortable way. On a hybrid bike, this upright position will mean the rider will have a great line of sight when riding in traffic. A road bike, meanwhile, is likely to have a lower stack and a longer reach, which is an altogether more aggressive position to be riding in. Now this manifests itself in a couple of different ways with a road bike. It's built into its frame, so the top tube will be longer and the head tube smaller, but it's also in the bike's handlebars. And you can see that the hoods mean you have a different position to ride on compared to a flat bar, and they can leave you feeling much more dragged out over the top of the bike. Now these differences in geometry and the two different handlebar types do have a tangible effect on the ride quality of the bikes. A road bike is going to be faster. It pulls you into a longer and lower position, which is more aerodynamic. Meanwhile, a lower stack makes it more aggressive when descending, which means it holds its line better and you can go around corners more comfortably and more quickly. Whilst a road bike is all about speed and agility and riding quickly, a hybrid bike is much more about feeling stable and in control, particularly when riding at slightly slower speeds. There are a couple of things on a flat bar bike that will make it feel more stable. The first is that flat bar, which makes you feel more in control of the ride. It's less twitchy than a drop bar would be. The second is the bike's wider tires, which offer a much bigger platform between you and the road, allowing you to feel more stable. If you want to bring a performance aspect to your cycling, a road bike might be a better option. That's not to say that you can't get fit on a hybrid bike, but a road bike is going to let you cover much more distance much more quickly. This is because of their greater rolling speed and the fact that they are that bit more aerodynamic. Another reason why road bikes are more efficient and much faster than hybrid bikes is because of their lower weights. And this makes them much easier to pedal uphill as well. Now, a road bike's lower weight is usually because of its frame. Road bikes will use materials such as sophisticated aluminium all the way through to high-end carbon fiber, which can really save a lot of weight from the bike. Meanwhile, hybrid bikes are always gonna be made from aluminium or steel, which does weigh much more. A hybrid bike might also weigh more because it has a greater number of gears or a less sophisticated group set than a road bike. It also has wider tyres which will add weight compared to the skinnier tyres on this road bike. The two bikes will also have very different types of wheels and a hybrid bike is much more likely to have a heavier set than its counterpart for the road. Knowing what you actually want to do on the bike will make it much easier to choose between these two different types. For example, if you want to take in light off-road sections, then going for a hybrid bike, which can typically accommodate wider tyres, would be a better choice. Another key difference between hybrid bikes and road bikes is their ability to carry luggage. 
Hybrid bikes come with a variety of mounts, letting you fit pannier racks to carry your luggage and mug guards to keep you dry. However, the more expensive a road bike gets, the less likely it is to come with these points to attach things to it. However, if you want to do all of the things that both of these bikes offer, so ride off-road, but also ride on-road, but also cycle to work in a way which can accommodate racks and mounts, then you might want to consider getting a gravel bike. Gravel bikes have the drop bar handlebars that road bikes have, but they often have more comfortable geometry, but they're able to accommodate wider tires like a hybrid bike. They also have plenty of mounts and rack holdings to put on them if you want to cycle to work. However, their entry level price point does tend to be more expensive than both road bikes and hybrid bikes. So there you go, that's some of the key differences between a road bike and a hybrid bike and the effect that those differences have on the ride quality of the two different machines. I hope this video has helped you make up your mind between the two different bikes, but if you do have any more questions, then please do just pop them in the comments section below. And if you have liked this video, then of course, do subscribe to the Cycling Weekly YouTube channel. Now, we'll be back soon with more great content, and we'll see you then.